back to Scare Model Review. Today I'm just going to do a quick review on uh, this little tiny kit that I bought when I was up at Newark um, Air Museum, um, which is basically a model shop with a, a great big uh, Air Museum tax on the back, which is excellent. Um, but this is the only one that caught my eye in there. This is the Tamiya 148 V1, the Vicella FI103, um, barely known as a buzz bomb in World War II. Um, these used to strike terror into the heart of uh, residents of London apparently because obviously the engine would just go and all of a sudden you'd hear it and then all of a sudden it would just cut out and it's and uh, apparently that's, that's the sound of, and uh, then they used to run and hide um, but on the box itself um, got a little bit of uh, box art on the side here as well um, you've, the instructions themselves are actually on the rear of the box uh, so no need for an instruction sheet it's not going to take long to build there's a little dolly that comes with it as well which is nice because it'll sit on the shelf uh, which is the whole idea of this is just to make it and put it on the shelf um, and uh, there you can see the paint the paint scheme not as nice as that one which is the one I'm going to go for um, probably not a lot of weathering or anything like that that's probably going to take about half an hour to build um, I would imagine but inside we have not a lot uh, we have one sprue uh, of plastic, not a big sprue either, size of the box, uh, and on there we have uh, some recessed panel lines, there's some raised detail as well which is quite nice, um, which is where it should be as well, um, but the recessed stuff's really nice, some nice um, bolts and, and things like that, uh, quality as usual, Tamiya quality, it's that nice nice plastic to not too hard but just just soft of being rock hard um, apart from that so you've got all the dolly up in this part which is going to be very very basic indeed um, and then you've got the rocket itself and if you can see details quite nice just want to catch the light for you there there you go um, so uh, that's going to be quite, as I say, won't take long to build whatsoever. Um, but uh, it's something to sit on the shelves along with my, all my spent ammo and, and things like that. Um, and uh, it'll just be a nice thing to look at. So uh, what else have we on the box? We've got some Tamiya rubbish. Straight fold out for B for bin. Uh, we've got a couple of decals. I don't think there's going to be a lot on here. Uh, mainly just writing... Um, and instructions and let me have a look you can actually read the writing as well which is not bad for 148 considering it's quite small um, and there you go a nice little set of decals so we'll have some life on it the weathering I think I'll, I'll do some um, I'll do some pre-shading on it but I think that's about it and maybe a little bit of a, a very fine wash on the top because obviously when it was fired it would be new it wouldn't have been set outside for god knows how long i'm sure that they just got to make them off the production line as soon as they've made them off they go so um but yeah so it's a nice little kit um as i say it's not going to be long it's that's a that's probably an afternoon's worth of work including the painting and everything um and uh, but it's just something that would be nice to sit on the shelf uh, and everything else so that's the uh that's the tamiya 148 v1 thanks a lot speak to you soon bye bye